So we got Patricia on the ride. How you doing today? I'm doing great. And you? I'm awesome. Thank you. And I'm uh, really good because I'm feeding off your vibes right now. You got real positive vibes and I'm loving it. Great. Okay. You seem to be positive too. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I try to yeah. stay that way, you know. Well, you know, there's a lot of negativity and we get to try to concentrate on what's positive and what's good. Yeah, we, we may go into a major depression. Well, that's the thing. You know, the thing is, you know, with everything on social media and the news and stuff, it's kind of it seems like. And I just had a, a buddy of mine saying that he, he feels like you know a lot of it's because of propaganda and it, they feed off of the negativity and yeah. that's what and then that's what it becomes. It, it seems like if people find that to be the norm. Yeah. You yeah. know, so that's why when, you know, people come across, like, you know, people like us, you know, with these positive, uh, mm -hmm. cheerful energy, some people don't even know how to take it. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I feel yeah. bad for them. Oh, yeah. You had asked me about the kids across the street. Yes. Yeah. So, first off, I was taking you to the bus station. Right. So, I wanted to know if you were visiting or if you were on vacation or if you're going on vacation. Right. I, I came uh, from North Carolina to spend some my daughter and her husband went on a trip and so they asked me would I come stay with the kids for about a weekend well, about two weeks and I said sure because some of the most memorable and most precious moments in my life have been with my grandchildren oh that's awesome yeah and I have uh, three granddaughters and a grandson and they are the love of my life yeah, I saw a bunch of kids when I pulled up. That's yeah. how I was wondering if those were your grandchildren. No, no, they were the neighbor uh, children. And they, like, adopted me uh, for their yaya, too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so maybe before it's all over, I'll have maybe with the, the ones that adopt me, maybe 100. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have the same problem, uh, 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 especially up north, with the, but it's like God children, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah but, uh. Uh, but anyways, um, so that's uh, that's excellent. So how did how did, how did that happen though? How did they end up adopting you? Like like, uh, well, they wanted to come play. Wanted my granddaughter to come over there and play with them. But um, I told them no because you know so many things happen. I really I really don't know them. Even if you know people these days, you have to be so careful with your children. Because oh, yeah. it's just, it's beautiful. The wickedness is just out there. And so I told them, you well, they could come play in the front yard. And that way, they am, I, I sat out there with them and we talked. And then their parents could see them out in the front yard. Right, and right, see right. all of us interacting. And one of the little girls, she's so cute. She told me, she said that she had a tea set. And she said, well, next time you come, um, I'm gonna get my tea set. You can serve us tea. I said, way cool. Not only tea, but we're gonna have cookies too. And I said, I'm gonna get a sheet and we're gonna throw it out on the grass in full view of everybody. Because, you know, their parents don't know me either. And I said, right, we'll sit right. right in the front yard and we'll have tea and they can come over too. And we can sit in the grass. And they, they thought that was so neat. And so next time I come, oh, you can come too. Bring a little girl. We'll have a tea party on the lawn. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring my daughter. She's like that. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, let me ask you a question. What do you think are some of the keys of being a happy person? All right. All right. I think one of the things that I try to, I try to accept things for what they are. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of things I can't change. It's too late. It already happened. So I don't let it get to me to the point. And I, I use, um, what's the old saying? If it happened, it was meant to be type of thing. You know what I mean? Like it, it happened for a reason. You know what I mean? If something bad happened to me that day, it, it, uh, I might have looked at it as a bad thing at that point in time. But in hindsight, it ended up probably avoiding something more tragic. If, if I believe things happen for a reason, it's easy for me to accept Mm -hmm. Why that, that they haven't. Right, right. What about you? I think um, it's, it's a scripture in the Bible says that there's more joy in giving than there is in receiving. And it really doesn't mean, well, it can be materially, but it don't have to be a, 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 a material gift. Because sometimes, just like we're having a, a good conversation, it's positive. That can be a gift. Right. Uh, and you know, at some 
people they may go through a thing all day and nobody may not say something nice to them or give them a smile and say well hello some people may not even get that no for real you'd be surprised at how often i say how you doing today and how little i get it back right so you'll see like if you watch the videos a lot of times i you know i i get a little extra happy you know and, and uh and thankful when someone says it back to me you know what i mean uh -huh. as if you know it's the first time because you'd be surprised at how uncommon common courtesy is that's right you know? that's right yeah. right but it's but that's the other thing, not to cut you off. Um, uh, go ahead. But to, to, to take it back on what you're saying, but that's like the other thing that I feel is also, I find value in other th things other than money. For example, these conversations I find are so educational and so valuable to me. I, I learned so much. I feel like we, since I've started doing these rides and these videos and talking to people, uh -huh. I've become more educated and, and well versed in the world. So. Uh -huh. And then she took that the wrong way. You know, I was trying to make it as a compliment, but she took it like, what, what do you mean? What are you trying to say? And then it, to the point that everybody behind her was all like, ooh, like, like so, and they were like taking my side over her, not saying right, ooh, right, ooh, right. like for me, but like the way she came at me. Right. And I just, I just brushed it off and I just kept being nice to her. And, and at the end of it, she wished me a, a, a nice day and a Merry Christmas. So you know what I mean. I won the battle at the end, you know after yeah. after after right. all. I won the war. You know the war. So um, but you know I just kept you know just being me. You know what I mean. Yeah. Nice, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you know it's 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 like I tell my granddaughter. I wrote her a letter before I left. Uh, she she's nine years old. Right, right, right. 
you're not saying that we have to, um, you know, live by strict rules, but at the same time, we have to make sure that we, we, we're careful on how we live our lives, because if we don't have any kind of discipline and we just, you know, we live carefully, like, you know, we don't have to put everything on the calendar, but if we don't mark the, the important things on the calendar, we're gonna, we're gonna miss out. Right, priorities and responsibilities. That's the, that's the difference between a being a grown-up and an adult. You can be an adult by age, but you ain't grown if you don't got discipline. Mm -hmm. And uh, I forgot what the other thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pay attention to the uh, to the GPS because we're getting off the highway here. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been in Tampa? Uh, I've been here about eight years now. You like it? I love it. Love really? It. Yes. I don't oh. see myself leaving too too soon. <laughs> you go to Miami much? No, I haven't been yet. That's probably why I haven't planned leaving Tampa yet. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been to Miami? No, not yet. Not yet. It's on my bucket list. Oh, Miami's okay. like four hours, so. And I have my daughter full time, so it's not easy for me to get out and go on, you know, and oh, vacations you're, and stuff. Oh, okay, you're a full time. Full time single dad. Really? Yeah, very rare, right? Really? But it's becoming more and more common. Yeah, it's actually, I've come across a few. I have actually had a couple of videos with some too. So it's really, really good to see that I'm not alone out there and for them yeah. to know as well. Um, but speaking of my daughter, I heard you said they call you Yaya. Uh-huh. Now my daughter, mother side of the family is Greek. They call her grandmother Yaya. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, cause you know, I, not to be Captain Obvious here, but you, you're not Greek yourself. <laughs> so I was wondering, you know, like, is that common as well? Like, uh, where does that come from with your, you know, yes. background and? Uh -huh. uh, I was just happy, happy to be looking on the internet of um, of words for for grandmother, and it was long with Grandma Mia, which was French. Gigi, that's bourgeois, and, I, and then uh, I saw Yaya, and I thought that was so so cute. That is a good uh, one, yeah. And in uh, the uh, Greek for grandpa was pap papa. Pap papa. Yeah. yeah, very. Sad. Actually, papu. Papu. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, so you know? Oh yeah, I, I, my my daughter is half Greek. She's Puerto Rican, is what I call her. <laughs> so I know a little bit. Oh, she Puerto Rican. Yes. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool, you know, and that's one of my favorite things. Like, I, uh, somebody, you know, I grew up black people uh, in my whole life, like, probably more than Spanish people. That's why my Spanish isn't even that good. Most of my friends are black. <laughs> but I've always, like, loved um, the culture, especially the families. And I always see, they, uh, it, black people always seem to have nicknames for each other uh -huh. in the family. So that's yeah. why I'm like, yeah, yeah, not yeah, surprised. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. It's that's, a, a Mama D or something like yeah. that sometimes, you know. Yeah. But most of my friends, they're, they, they are either uh, Mama uh, Gigi. I think the, 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 bourge, the bourgeois grandmothers are Gigi. Yeah, the ones with <laughs> yeah, the false right. nails and the um, false hair. And right. They say Gigi. You're like Gabor sisters. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, right. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was, was it one of them Yaya? Yaya, Gabor? No, Jaja. Yeah, no, it's Jaja. Ja -ja. yeah. But I said, Jay said Gigi. Gigi, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. But that, that's, that's cute. That's, that's cute, cute, yes. I thought, I thought maybe... Maybe it was because you didn't like the name, the word grandma. You know, a lot of a lot of women are like, let's say, become grandma. Like, oh, I don't want to be grandma yet. You know what I mean? So let's call me. My husband. Right. Hello, Smallwood. Oh no, I'm I'm on camera. I'm on YouTube with the cab driver. <laughs> he said, Hey, say hey. Hey. <laughs> mind being called grandmother you know what I think this just my humble opinion the best thing a person can be is a good parent or a grandparent I really feel that way because look at and you raise a, 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 a child 
child successfully. I don't mean that they're gonna be rich or, but successfully you have you have protected that child, you have nurtured that child. To me, that is one of the most important careers a person can have. But that's just my humble opinion. For real. <laughs> No, I believe it. I say, hey, I say it's the hardest job I ever had, but the only one I ever loved. How about that? And I, I, I don't mind being called uh, grandma. No, that's but, right. Yeah, and just, that's but it. some people do have that stigma. No, no, for, for real. I don't blame them, you know. Yeah. But hey, hey, I, I definitely, I'll tell you this. I think that was the, you know, the, the message of this video, uh, you know, uh -huh. and I really appreciate you, you know, being part of this and, and sending that message. And, uh... I, I wish we had a longer ride, but with that, I definitely uh, appreciate you. You have a great day. Oh, and you too. And I enjoyed it. And I commend you for being that dad that's standing by your daughter. Oh, yes. <laughs> All day, every day. I'm crying because I'm super happy. Let's tell them what, what happened. What's the, what's the good news, you guys? I beat breast cancer. All right. Naturally, no chemo, no radiation. Congratulations.